Michael Brewer once again. And as you can tell, I'm no longer in Hawaii. No, I'm back home here in Switzerland, in a very autumny Switzerland. About a beautiful day. And I thought this would be a good opportunity to catch up a couple weeks after the seven day mental diet to uh, check in with you all, see how you're doing, tell you how I'm doing. Well, it's gonna be about three weeks since last I recorded, last I checked in with you. And after completing seven day uh, mental diet, um, I gotta tell you, it's going pretty well. I gotta be honest though, uh, coming back home and uh, picking up all my activities, starting my business up again, being back home and paying the bills and back in my everyday routine, it was a challenge. It has been a challenge. It is a challenge almost every single day. But I have to say, I really profited from the seven day mental diet in that I haven't returned quite the same person as I was before I went to Hawaii, before I went on the seven day mental diet. It's like a, imagine like a, an old vinyl LP record, those of you who are old enough to know what those are. Uh, and it's like a groove etched in vinyl. And every time you come to a situation that you've experienced before, you tend to fall back into that same groove, into that same vibration, whether it's a positive or a negative one. It's very easy to stay inside that groove. What the seven day mental diet did for me is that it lifted me for a time out of my normal groove, out of my normal mindset, out of my normal mental patterns and habits. And so now when I'm back home and back in my same, my old routine, when I am confronted with the same old, same old, or the, the things that used to bother me as much, my first instinct is to go back to that groove and to react to, you know, aggravated or frustrated or annoyed or mad or, and to fall into some kind of negative thinking habit. What the seven day mental diet did for me is that it makes me stop and think and say, wait, wait, do I have to fall back in that groove? And maybe I do for a few seconds or 30 seconds or so, but I'm easily able to lift myself out of that whether it means getting up out of my chair and um, taking a walk or uh, just going up taking a nap or anything I've got to do to pivot. I can't say I'm quite as happy and high as I was back in Hawaii. Oh my God, uh, as beautiful as all this is, it's, it's kind of cold here. <laughs> it, it is fall. But I am happier than I was when I left. And I am more positive than I was before I took the seven day mental and I think uh, after a while, I'm going to try it again, and I'm going to do it again here in my normal uh, environment. Um, and so I have no regrets, and I'm glad, and I'm richer for having done it, and I am more positive on the whole. Uh, I can't say that I'm positive every minute. I can't say that uh, I don't fall into negative thinking now and then, but a lot less, and I get out of it a lot faster. Uh, it's kind of like a muscle you've got to train, I think, positive thinking. Uh, you can't just go to the gym one day or even for just a week and think you're going to change your whole physique. Uh, it takes regular training. And so uh, now that I'm back home in beautiful Switzerland, uh, I'm going to go on a regular men mental diet. And I just practice it every day in a meditation and, uh, and really be, try to stay conscious. And the biggest thing I got out of it is that I'm aware now when I'm not being positive and when my mental thought patterns are negative and I'm aware of what that does for me. And so this is the first of my Swiss blogs. Um, this is the first of my adventures with uh, Buster and Lily. Oh, who are Buster and Lily? Well, I'll show you. Hey, Busty, come here. This is Lily. <laughs> Lily's a Jack Russell Terrier. She's a little over here. She's my regular partner on walks. And this is Buster. Buster, come here. Buster! Oh, they're all excited. Anyway, Buster will be checking with you, with you soon because I'm going to start a new blog here and now. This is probably the first of them here in Switzerland called My Walks with Buster and Lily or Out and About with Buster and Lily, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I go for a walk every day with my dogs at lunchtime and I'll be uh, filming for now and then when I can find a nice place to do it. The light is good and I have something to say. So I hope you'll too join in. I hope you send me your comments and videos and let me know how you're doing with the mental diet. And uh, I won't say aloha, but I will say afidaloga, which means see you later in Swiss German. Bye.